Okay, so Pi News episode 10. Uh, so the first story is uh, Recallbox. Uh, Recallbox had a, uh, an official release uh, and it's Recallbox 7 Reloaded. And uh, I've seen others have reviewed it. I haven't really gone through it very much yet uh, because I've been messing about with various things with RetroPie. But I do need to have a look at it because uh, some of the guys in the podcast uh, did definitely say that they preferred Recallbox to RetroPie. Now, I love RetroPie. Uh, I haven't really used Recall Box much. I, I did a, a video on one of their early versions uh, before it was officially released on the Pi 4, and it was very good, um, but uh, I really need to have a look at this. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at that fairly soon. Okay, so next story, not something that I'm particularly interested in, but uh, I know a lot of people are. Uh, so an official Microsoft build of the Visual Studio Code Editor is now available, uh, and it's available on Raspberry Pi. So if you like your coding, uh, that could be some good news for you. Uh, another maker project, uh, this MacBook Mini. The only thing that troubles me is the, the non-straight sticker and just the size of it. But actually, I really like the dedication to this build. The fact that it's got, well, two trackpads. I don't know quite what the two trackpads are about. But uh, I just thought it was, it was something a little bit interesting. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So I'll put a link in the description to that as well. Lots of people are making use of uh, iRaspbian or Twister OS to do these Mac builds because it looks so authentic. Now this is a cool one uh, and I've just ordered one of these uh, Raspberry Pi official cameras. Uh, basically uh, this guy has set up 15 Raspberry Pi cameras uh, using bullet time, the sort of matrix style effect. Uh, and if I scroll in you can see that some of it looks really impressive. Look at that. It does look really impressive. I, I recommend you check out the video. But I've actually ordered one of these cameras because uh, that's on the next story, which is Amazon Prime Day. Uh, now, I already included a link for one of these kits, the £67.18 kit. I thought it was a particularly good deal. Uh, there's a lot of kit in there. So Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, which I think is the best value model anyway. Uh, a SanDisk card, and those are decent cards, reasonable speeds on them. A couple of HDMI cables, which is handy. A uh, power adapter, which you need with a Pi, and it's a proper 3 amp one. Not the official one, but it's a proper 3 amp one. Case, fan, just, just a really good kit. So there's also this for people who like uh, doing various different projects and things. There's quite a bit of money off that. Uh, and if I scroll down, you will see my camera. Not that one. This one. So this is the official camera, and this is the one I believe that's in that video that I just showed with the bullet time. And I thought I'd have a look at it and see what it's like for a webcam, see what it takes photos like. I could see if I could sort something out maybe with my touch screen uh, and a battery to make a camera that I can go out and about with. It's not going to be great, but uh, it'll be interesting to have a look at anyway. But yeah, some great deals on Prime Day towards Raspberry Pi. Uh, so yeah, worth looking at. Uh, the last story is uh, something not to get from Prime, uh, and so I've been doing a lot with Damaso's build. Um, I've been trying to get it to work on a hard drive, and I bought another hard drive because my 750 gig hard drive wasn't working, physical hard drive, because they're super cheap. I paid £12 from CEX, uh, and I think I bought a 500 gig for about £20 from Amazon, but I think there's something up, because I had a comment today uh, about saying that they couldn't get Damaso's build to work with the USB boot. So I think there is some sort of issue uh, with adding the 14 files, and I've got a video on the 14 files that you can add to, to make operating systems USB boot. I think with the newer EEPROMs it doesn't work properly. So I've got, I've got a way around it, uh, and that's why I'm going to do RetroPi before I cover recall box. But, uh, so these are fine. Uh, and some of these, I mean, that's actually a very good price. That that 512A1 card, uh, that would be good for something like Damaso's 500 gig build. Uh, but I wanted to get something cheaper. And uh, the first one that kept coming up a lot, I don't know why it's further down the list now, is this one. So if I open that in a new tab, I'll go back to that page. So it's an amazing price for a 512 memory card and it's got incredible reviews but <laughs> hovering over that's annoying uh, so if I click on the ratings uh, you will see that there's a, something a little bit different if you have a pile of micro SD cards in a baggie or container you probably need this 
This was a last minute impulse item that I purchased as part of a large order. However, I'm so glad I acted upon my impulse and purchased the unique, this unique little storage option for micro SD cards. So it's obviously something to do with the case. And if I scroll down, uh, best solution I found for storing micro SD cards. Again, a case. A nice little holder, exactly what I expected. Again, a case. I like the small, so basically you get the picture. These reviews aren't about this product at all. And this is weird because this is down as a prime product uh, and it keeps getting recommended to me uh, or it's free delivery for prime customers uh, and it keeps getting recommended and clearly uh, there's something up there. And what's up more than likely and I did a video on Wish.com and a two terabyte USB stick that I bought that actually was about 32 gig. Uh, so if we click on, let's look for some of these ones. Here we go. We've got a 1024 gigabyte micro SD XC card for 25.99, uh, and that is a prime. That's down as prime, and I don't know how they haven't got on top of this. This is very disappointing. Oh, what happened there? There are not reviews. Uh, so one rating, or does it not? It's a one star rating. Uh, here we go. Oh, and it's in Spanish. There was one on the 512 one. Well, this has got 14 reviews. Again, 1599, very good price for a 512 if it, if it was true. Uh, but when you look at it, fake card, 512 gig was counterfeit, doesn't work. Now, I kind of expect this from Wish.com, uh, and they do, to be fair, Wish.com refunded me, didn't get me to send back the USB stick. I still use the USB stick at my work uh, to this day, and uh, it works fine, but it's not the two terabytes that were reported. It, it, it maxes out about 32 gig. So here we go, advertises 512, but only allows 29 gig. Fake card imitates 512. So if you were just putting documents on it, because and this is how they get their good reviews. So there's a five star review here, uh, and this will be because someone has got this card, they started to put a few things on it, and it's working. But what happens is it ends up overwriting the earlier files that you put on the card, and you don't know it's there. And it actually uh, it overwrites files, but it actually keeps the headers so it looks like the files are still there. It's only when you try and access them that you realize that they're not working. It's a really bad thing that these sellers are doing because it means that people are going to lose important data. And, uh, and I'm surprised that Amazon is just full up with it. Really, really disappointing. Anyway, hope you like this. Uh, I wanted to get it out quick, that's why I rushed through it, because of the Amazon Prime Day deals, because they're only on for another, I think, 15 hours or something like that. Uh, so Prime Day, oh yeah, it says it up there, look, 15 hours, 21 minutes. Anyway, hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.